on my last day. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make the most out of it. And I asked if Gunal wants to like hang a little bit. So around noon time, I, I went to her place and I was like, hi, good morning. I first brought her to a Daiso. Very overwhelming, I think, but not as overwhelming as the like electricity kind of store that we went to. But we looked for some stuff for her. Gunal was fascinated by everything. Being so cute, I knew she would like it. And when I said in the beginning, "Hey, do you want to go karaoke with me today, Gula?" She was like, "Oh, I thought you'd never ask." <laughs> so basically, we had like a lunch there. It was her first time at a Japanese karaoke, so that was nice. We didn't have a time limit, so we just went on and on and on. Oh, she actually sang that new Radwimp song from that movie that I saw, the Suzume no Tojimari song. She didn't see the movie, but she knew the song and she sang it really well. That got me excited. Good uh, rendition of that song. And the last song I chose, I was like, Ah, oh, wait, Gura, there's one more song. We should sing together. I didn't tell her. And I put in secretly, Ai Kotoba. She's like, Ah, oh, nice choice. But I uploaded a snippet of us singing Ai Kotoba on Twitter. <laughs> We had a good dinner. It was nice being together. A little group of Ina, Guna, me, and, and Jenma. But I had so much fun with Guna. She also told me that she really appreciated it. I, I just, you know, I was kind of sad that I had to leave her. But um, I'll be back to show her more. And I told her to not do all the exciting things without me. I want to show Guna some special things. I, I hope I can share some of my favorite things about Japan with especially Guna. Yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe I can take her on a little trip. 